New hair. Hair plus beard equals Kenobi. May the force be with you. And also with you. Now that that's over with, referencing and reference managers. So this week's video is effectively split into two parts. Different types of reference managing software you can use, and how to do Harvard referencing. Feel free to skip forward to the relevant part of the video for you. When writing any document, be it a thesis, a paper, a poster, or your literature review, you're going to need to reference everything. And this isn't really covered very well at undergraduate level. People basically use five different reference managers. The first type is writing all your references by hand. This is the stupid way of doing things. It just takes way too much effort. Then there's using BibTeX. This is the hardcore version for anyone who's into LaTeX. While this can be done by hand, it's much easier to use something like Jabref, a free Java-based tool for managing your references. Then there's EndNote. This is pretty popular and plugs into Word, but it's expensive. And while your university may have a subscription, they nearly always have an out-of-date version. Also, I just don't get on with it. The fourth option is Reference Manager. This is basically the same as EndNote, but the only people I know who use it are professors who haven't let go yet. You'll find the majority of people you know will be using EndNote, unless they use LaTeX. Reference Manager also costs a lot of money. And the final version is Mendeley. Mendeley! So full disclosure, Mendeley have given me three things like this t-shirt. And there's that time the head of the company bought me a beer. But I already thought it was an awesome tool before all that happened. It's free, I find it easy to use, it exports BibTeX files, has an online space where you can sync all your files to, has approachable developers who don't mind being contacted about new features that you would like to see, and has a built-in PDF reader which uses OCR to work out what the PDF is, and then syncs to Google Scholar, PubMed, or uses the DOI to find out the rest of the details about your document, which is super handy. It also has social networking features, a bit like Facebook, but for academics. And if you needed any more reasons, why don't you look at this handy chart? You'll also find a link to it down in the doobly-doo. So having picked a reference manager of choice, you're going to have to pick a referencing style. Everyone I know uses Harvard referencing. And if you email your supervisor or whoever's running the course, they will say, use Harvard referencing. That should be really easy, you think. In practice, there are so many different ways of doing Harvard referencing that saying Harvard referencing is basically useless. So if your supervisor says it, look up some of their publications and see how they did it, or ask for an example thesis to use. And if someone in charge of your course is telling you, you should make sure to look at the course website. Down in the doobly-doo is a link that I found really useful when I started referencing. So that's it for this week. Make sure to like, share and subscribe. And of course, if there's anything you want me to talk about pertaining to PhDs, comment down below. On a slightly sadder note, work's been picking up a little bit recently, so I'm not going to be able to do these videos every week anymore. They'll be every fortnight, and hopefully that'll allow me some time to work on some other videos I'd like to do, and to finish up my backlog of vlogs I need to do. See you next time! Someone wronged me when I was filming.